Hey everyone, welcome back. Stacker here. In today's numismatic news and information for the 11th day of August 2023, I'm going to welcome you over to MoneyMetals.com so we can check out the spot prices. Not only that, but the availability and the premiums for the 23 Eagles. Now, before all that, huge shout out and a big thank you to each and every single one of our channel members. Really do appreciate all y'all's support. That's right, each and every single one of you. Thank you very much. Now, YouTube's looking a little different these days, I'm thinking. Now, let's go here to MoneyMetals.com. Looks like gold is up 650 to 1929.5. Silver up 4 pennies to 22.96. Platinum up 565 to 929.15. And palladium up $7 and a nickel to 13.46.5. You're looking at an in-stock American Silver Eagle whose premium is 1049. And I think if that was between 5 and $2, that would be outstanding. Now, over here to the bullion sales. We have no new tale to tell, but we had a pretty decent tale this, earlier this week where the Mint added some decent numbers for August, indeed. So kudos to the Mint, but you got to bring it a little bit stronger. Let's double this amount, right? Get those premiums lower and lower. Now, did you get the email? There was a press release just yesterday, and I think there's some kind of discrepancy here between the 14th and the 15th, but let's dive into this. It's really awesome, and I love this design. This is like, forget it. I'm going to just, wow, look at this. Let's just check that out. Bam! I love that. Whoops. Too much zoom. There it is. That's Yoviti Dot. And um, the mint added the clasped hands here so that it wouldn't be a double headed quarter. Think about that. There is an original um, photograph like this or painting of Yoviti Dot on the internet circulating around where you can see this, but there's no hands clasped. So they added that after the fact. So clever cleverly done now here we go um the united states mint begins shipping 2023 american women quarters honoring yoviti dot on august 15th now here we go and this is out of washington dc i would imagine the united states mint will begin shipping the fourth coin in the 2023 american women quarters awq program on august 14th so that's when they're going to be shipping them okay the mint facilities at philadelphia and denver manufacture these circulating quarters honoring yoviti dot i don't know why they didn't put san francisco there mm-hmm now, Yobi Didata was a Mexican-American journalist, activist, teacher, and suffragist. She made it her mission to pursue civil rights for Mexican-Americans and believed education was the foundation for a better future. Ladies and gentlemen, just so you know, I think every single one of these American Women Quarter persons um, that has been honored has just about one thing in common besides being female. They all strive to better themselves through education. And, and we should all look to that and say, you know what, you're probably right. It's all about education. And no matter how old you are, don't give up on yourself. You can always get better and improve. Now, it says here, Ida wrote many news articles in various publications speaking out about racism and supporting the revolution in Mexico. Throughout her life, Ida remained on the front lines of change and advocated fiercely for the rights of women and Mexican-Americans. Now, it's the fourth coin of 2023 of the American Women Quarters Program. Honors the life and legacy of Yovi Ida, said MIT Director Venture C. Gibson. She devoted her life to fighting against separatist ideologies and sought to create a better future for Mexican-Americans. Her legacy continued used to encourage and empower future generations. The United States Mint Medallic Artist John P. McGraw designed and sculpted the OVD Dot Quarter reverse design. It was a great honor designing and sculpting the OVD Dot Quarter, said McGraw. After talking with her family members, I was immediately inspired by her life. Curiosity and education were the driving force in my design. Much like the OVD Dot's life work, I imagine the text, which makes up her body and design, will inspire curiosity and teach the viewer how amazing the OVD Dot was. Folks, amazing and i was able lucky enough to listen to the ccac meeting with joseph mena pushing for this design and i know that was over a year ago but listening to that i was just man i just got chicken skin listening to that and if you don't know where chicken skin comes i think it's a hawaiian saying i think that's why i picked it up in college with the hawaiian bunch girls that i used to hang out with but that's a story for another day now the reverse depicts yobi didar with the, her hands clasped with her, within her body are inscriptions representing some of her greatest accomplishments and the newspapers for which she wrote. So there you go, with her hands clasped. So they really made a whole, almost a whole paragraph for that particular point that they wanted to make. Now the inscriptions are Mexican American rights. Now this is exactly what's in her, um, uh, those inscriptions on her, I guess, portrait. Yeah, Mexican American rights teacher. You know, we did her name, nurse. Uh, I would say evol evolution, evolution, Astrea. All right, El Geraldo, uh, I got to say no H, right? There's no H pronunciation. El Geraldo Cristan, Cristiano 
La Cruz Blanca, Journalista, or oh, just journalist, La Cronica, El Progreso, La Liga Femenil, oh my goodness, Mexicanista, oh boy, try and say that fast five times, Quarter Dollar E Pluribus Unum, and United States of America, and honestly, I think all of us should probably be speaking Spanish here in this country. Um, it's it, Look, when you speak Spanish, it just makes it that much more fun. Now, the obverse, that's the heads, depicts a portrait of George Washington originally composed and sculpted by Laura Garden Fraser to mark George Washington's 200th birthday. birthday. Now, though her work was a recommended design for the 32 quarter, then Treasury Secretary Mellon ultimately selected the familiar John Flanagan design of Fraser. Director Gibson said, I am proud that the new obverse design of George Washington is by one of the most prolific women Sculptors of the early 20th century, Laura Gardens Fraser work is allowed both in numismatic and artistic circles. Nine years later, after she intended it for her to do so, her obverse design has fittingly taken her place in the quarter. So, I think that's a message for all of us. You know, even though you didn't get your um, your props and your desserts uh, all at the time when you did it, you know, the universe has a magical way of giving you what you need when you need it. And there it is on the American Women Quarters program. It says here, obverse inscriptions are liberty and God we trust. In 2023, the design is common to all quarters issued in this series. There we go. And here are some of the honorees for 2023. So we've had the Bessie Coleman quarter out this year. We've had the Edith Kanaka Ole quarter. We had Edelman Roosevelt. And we're getting now Yoviti Dar. And then finally this year, we're going to have Maria Tall Chief. All right. Now, bam, love that design. So there's so much going on here. Look at that. Now, if you were a cashier at a grocery store or anywhere, a cashier, and you saw this, and then you had the George Washington on the uh, obverse, well, would you know which one's the obverse and which one's the reverse? I don't know, but isn't that the beauty of it? Really, though. Now, let's keep on keeping on. There's so much going on here. Now, we saw August 14th is a shipping day, but look at this. It says August 15th is actually the day that these four products go on sale. That's something I think that I haven't noticed before, and I probably should have if I haven't. Now, here we are. I wanted to show you something really interesting. And, and, and we're talking about, is it a mix-up? Is it not a mix-up? I don't know. One says the 14th, one says the 15th. But look at this. I, I was uh, This was pointed out to me yesterday. And I, I hope this is not non-sequitur. Uh, I hope it does fall in the line of things. It says here it contains 3.9 fine silver with brilliant proof finish. It says here 3.9 is fine. But, however, if you go to the specs, Composition says four nines fine silver, so I thought that I wanted to share that with you. That's kind of muy importante. And uh, I think that's the end of the miscommunications, or maybe they meant to. Not sure. Now, here we go. This is the one I'm going to be actually going for. It is the three-roll set. That's $60. That's $20 per roll, 20 40 60 And can you believe this? Check this out. I actually added a roll, or one, yesterday. So you can actually add the three-roll set to your bag right now. Can you dig it? I know I did. I dug it so much I added one more. So I went to the current product, and that was probably a fail. Let me keep going back. I'm not sure why I did that. Keep going one more. I hope that does it. Yay. All right. Now, with that said, the three-roll set has 120 circulating quality coins, and that's really important, folks, that circulating description. Um, because, well, hmm. Because there's so much negative space in this particular quarter, I would imagine that, well, I mean, you saw the Eisenhower dollar, the Ike dollar, that one's just beat up from the feet up, and that didn't even get out of the mint yet, and it was still pretty rough. So what that says is that this particular quarter is going to be conditioned rarity, and we already know that that's the case, folks, right? Because look at this. We got the proofs that have already come out from San Francisco. And I wanted to point this out to you. I think that um, some of the folks that are selling the Mint State 67 or even 66 at low, low prices might regret their per, uh, sales uh, coming in the future. And I do believe they are going to um, regret selling them at such a low, low price. So here we are. We're at the Yoviti Dark Quarter. We're in all categories. Um, shipping highest first. So here we go. Um, what's really interesting about the three-roll set, that people are selling it for above $100. Now, the other three-quarters that came out early this year did not command that kind of well, draw on their um, interest and their prices. So we're at 128.75, 110, free shipping, 109, 109, 99, 105, 104, 104, 99, 475 shipping, uh, new listing, $96 per eight. 95, 89, I mean, that's, I think that's a deal myself. 95, 89, here we go. We're getting into the proof soon, I would imagine. There we go. That's actually a mid-state 
from San Francisco, and that's a 67, all right? So they're selling it for 59.95 and a mid-state 67 from NGC. Keep a remember on that one. Now, here we are. This is the PD and the S, PDS, American Women Quarters from NGC, mid-state 66 for a mere $49.95. Folks, I think that's a heck of a deal. I really do. Because um, if you've got these graded on your own, that'd be $20, $40, $60 just to put them in slabs right there. And they're only selling it for $55. Go figure. Now, let's keep on keeping on. Look at that one. Special mint. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Now, this is where the meat and potatoes are. So, there's one of them. This is a PCGS Proof 69 Deep Cameo. And I'm telling you, about 40% of the proofs are in a PF 69. That just is amazing. So, here's a Mint State 66 pickup sticks. From the San Francisco Mint is $30. Remember, the other one in a 67 was about $59. But look, it gets even more interesting here. Look at this. Proof 69, $24. Look at the one with the Rosie of the River. I really like that one. It's kind of cool. $24. So really, it's only about 4 or $5 over what they are slabbed for. That's incredible. What a deal. Now, here we go. Another Proof 69 Ultra Cameo, $24 and change. And here we go. There's another one, Proof 69. Folks, we don't see these in a Proof 70 online. And if we do, I would imagine they'd be really expensive. Another Proof 69 for $19. Come on. That's ridiculous. Man. Keep on keeping on. Let's go here. Keep on. I know there's some other quarters. Look at that. So that's a San Francisco Mint State 66 pickup sticks for $14.95. That is just ridiculous. I don't know how they can even afford that and stay in business, but that's their prerogative. It's their coin. They can do what they want with it. So I think that's pretty much sums up what's going on here with the OVD dark order. You're not seeing the proof 69s. And of the San Francisco's, I mean, honestly, I think that because uh, sellers don't really understand or maybe are aware that this coin is going to be conditioned rarity, like much like it is for the proof, those mint state coins are going to be tough to find in high grades. Let me show you the proof population on PCGS. Here we go. So out of 213, 81 of them are in a proof 69. So that's just about under 40%, I think. Now, let's keep on keeping on because I think there's a question that y'all have that may be answered pretty easily, actually. Now, I think the question is, where are you going to find high-grade VD dark quarters? Because those other ones are circulated, correct? I did show you that is a circulating quality. Circulating, yeah, we don't want circulating quality. We want uncirculated quality. And here we are, folks. There she is. There are the girls right there. Bam! Loving that. And look, will we see some of these uncirculated VD dark quarters in a poor condition? I would imagine yes. But I would also imagine that some of the first strikes that we see are going to be stellar, stunning, and worthy of high grades. Now, if you're into registry sets, all right, well, this is where registry sets are born, in my opinion. And uh, like I said, this is going to be amazing. And because it's a low... I, I, because it's a condition rarity, I think that these are going to be way more expensive than what we're seeing now. Because the writing's not really on the wall. Because um, most people aren't really thinking about this right now. Now, let's go to those plus ones today. Bam. Nope, nope. Bam. There it is. This is Psalm 19.8. And it says here, the Bible of the Lord is perfect, restoring the soul. The testimony of the Lord is trustworthy, making the simple one wise. Man, that's outstanding. I mean, that's like superpower. It says here, I'm just trying to wrap my head around it. The Lord's Bible directs man to his true place in the scheme of creation. Yo, isn't it cool when you know your place? You don't have to go out. This is my job. I'm not, hey, that's not my, not my purview, right? Yeah. It, 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 I think it's good to know our place. No doubt about it. Now, I got an awesome song for you here that's cool in the gang. Yeah, here we go. And if you don't start moving when you hear this song, I don't know. You might want to check your pulse. But this is cool in the gang. And Ladies Night on 99.9 KOIN Coin News Radio. So, folks, I want to thank you all for watching. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to hit that like button. And if you do like what you hear and see, please sub the channel. It's free. And please consider being a member. All members can request songs and they get free shipping on the auctions. Stack her out.